I'm Kathy Grusty, Managing Editor of the Lake County Journal. We are here at the 17th Annual Four Fronts Breakfast at State Bake of the Lakes in Grays Lake. This year we are honoring 13 people. Our Four Fronts winners are people who are making Lake County a better place to live. It's always a fantastic event. We have people of all ages from all over Lake County. All of them have been dedicated and passionate about making this community the best it can be. And it's my honor always to speak about these winners because they're such outstanding people. I really, truly appreciate it. We lost our son, Matt, uh, about a year and a half ago in 2009 after just an eight month battle with cancer. And um, when you go through that, you realize how many people are out there helping you. We realize that so much of what we got out of that year was due to his involvement in his sports, his, his strength and character, and also the community that supported us, we wouldn't have had had he not been so involved, and, and our other kids too. Our goal is to help two areas primarily. One will be individuals and families with um, who are suffering from cancer or other long-term illness that we can keep their siblings, keep those kids involved, keep the families involved in the communities and feeling good about themselves and continuing to build their confidence and character. Um, and the second area that we'll be helping our community organizations such as park districts or other programs helping kids um, at risk. Uh, thanks for uh, as, as the previous Peter mentioned uh, there's a lot of great act community activities going on and, and it's this kind of thing that uh, continues to keep us going and uh, help continue to uh, give back to our communities. So thank you. With the help of some of the people organized Dr. Stuffers, we got together and in about eight weeks, six, eight weeks, we put together uh, family dinners that, that we were able to hand out. And I think the first year we fed 100 and last year we fed 100 families and we incorporated we uh, Santa Claus happens to show up so all the kids that come and pick up their dinners they have a picture taken with Santa Claus and we have, we're going to continue to do it uh, hopefully it'll grow this year uh, I don't know how many we could feed hopefully maybe somewhere maybe 150 I hope but, but whatever we're able to do we're going to continue to do it for as long as we're able to and it's really it's an overwhelming feeling when the day is over. It's a tremendous. Uh, the village of Fox Lake has been extremely generous. Um, I've, I've just touched. I'm a little teary. I, it is. It's overwhelming for us. We didn't expect this at all. But like I said, village of Fox Lake, thank you so much for allowing us to do this <coughs> and making it such a great success. So thank you. Thank you, Lord. It's, it's kind of hard to, I think as a lot of people said, that uh, there's a lot of people involved in what we do, and it is kind of hard to stand up and take the credit for it. Um, but uh, we believe in what we're doing. Um, we've, I think we've got very simple and precise goals, and because, because we do, I think that's enabling us to grow at a very rapid rate. Um, but to be to be recognized, um, I think is is uh, a testament to our team and, and really the community as a whole because we're only the mechanism or the uh, the tool that the community uses to be kind of the connection between where books are and where they need to be. And um, if it wasn't for folks being proactive with their books, um, we couldn't do what we do. This is really quite an honor, and you spelled my name. <laughs> when Colin called me, I was like, you know, you get so many phone calls nowadays from telemarketing people, and I think he said something like, congratulations, you won, and I just about hung up, um, and uh, it was, it really came as a surprise, um, very honored, and good things, you know, do come when People are unemployed. I started Pride Call during, uh, uh, I was one of the, those of many, many thousands of people that got laid off a couple of years ago and um, started this endeavor during that time. Um, and uh, we have a wonderful board of directors. Um, Rick is here, he's, he's one of our board members. Um, and without our volunteers and, and our board, um, this really wouldn't be possible with the people that we're helping. 
We, we take calls from all ages, but you know, the, the thing that's uh, to me most important is um, we want our young people to be able to cope with their sexuality rather than cower from it um, and make the world uh, just a better place. I am very thankful to be here with a group of good people. My journey wasn't so pleasant. I was at Boyce Tech High School, Milwaukee. Pearl Harbor came. I jumped up and walked out of school with three other fellas, which I never seen since. And tell you the truth, there's so much that could be talked about because we had all I had over 19,000 casualties, and I can't tell you how many dead. I missed the boat because I was short and I could crawl in a foxhole and not get run over a tank from Germany. I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting at a couch in a dog house or a phone ring, and here I am. And I'll be honest with you, can't find a better bunch of people in the newspaper. I'm honored to take this award for my son. about the Hispanic community. There's a lot of need of research and any any kind. Um, but being a child care provider, my goal is provide high quality care to all the kids that I might take care. But then I saw the need to other child care providers that they don't have the resource to to go and we got at this network for all the child care providers the Spanish speakers people. And we're trying to involve more parents to come to us and learn together because this is a team, team of uh, child providers, parents, and a school with the teachers. So I'd be happy to be here. Thanks for this opportunity. Hi, um, I'm Samantha. And um, I just, I'm just so amazed by this award. I was coming home from a speech team meet in downtown like Peoria and my mom's just like Sam you got a call today I'm like oh okay and she's like you won I'm like and <laughs> she's like you won for the Lake County Journal and I was like and I was in the car and the car is so small but somehow I was able to flip out in a little car going oh my god oh my god <laughs> and I'm just up here today and I'm kind of shaking right now <laughs> but it's just a, such an honorable award. I mean, doing this for my cousin Grace, who was sitting at the table, she was so happy for me. And she's just like, Sam, you got an award. And I was like, I know. And she was so happy. And she's just like, am I going to get one too? And I'm like, I don't know. I'll share with you if you want. <laughs> many, many thanks to the Lake County Journal for recognizing the work that I've done. And, and it's not just the work I've done, but the work that so many people in the court system have done. There are two people here today who I would think deserve as much credit or more. Um, Noelle Moore from A Safe Place, 
and Nyla Graw, who is involved as the director of the Family Visitation Exchange Center in Lake County. You know, it was, it was always my philosophy that there's so much that you can accomplish if you don't care who gets credit for it. And that meant to me, for me to look for things that needed to be solved and to bring people to the effort to get things done. And I was privileged to work in the court system and to be a judge and have an opportunity to shine a spotlight on things that needed to be done because there are so many people and so many families in distress and so many children that are hurting that we needed to provide the best services that we could to make the process a little easier on them and hopefully grow up children who will share the world with all of us um, in a more peaceful way. And that, that's another one of my philosophies. If you want peace in our society, you need to work for justice. And that's what I've always tried to do. So to say that I didn't ever look for the credit, it sure is nice to get it once in a while. Thank you very much. As uh, the judge has said, we never, no one in this room ever went out to do this to get recognized, but we did it because we care. Uh, so uh, it's very nice to be recognized even when you are not looking for it. So, uh, and I'm, I was most impressed uh, through all of this that uh, Kathy or Candace, uh, neither of them passed out any operating room when they came to visit. <laughs> um, one of the many things we've done is we've, uh, I've, I was, I'd like to say I was very instrumental in setting up Condell as a level one trauma center to take care of the traumas of Lake County, which we, I think we're doing exceptionally well. In addition to the Petwazi program, which uh, introduces high school students to the medical field, uh, one of my big proponents has been teen alcohol use. Uh, it is amazing the, the stories you can tell about the things that come into the emergency room. Um, and with that, it, we, we fix problems by education. Um, and you may or may not know that Lake County, Illinois, is one of the fifth worst counties in the nation in teen alcohol use. 50% of all high school seniors in her county drink monthly. 13% of all of our sixth graders drink monthly. It's pretty good to see kind of some eyes opening up. Um, how do we stop, are we gonna stop it completely? No, but there's more cars on the road, there's more kids, there's more people. Um, just these devastate not only the children, but their families. Uh, and how do we help prevent that is through education. That's what we've tried to establish is going out to communities, high schools, uh, to educate. So uh, it's my little part in the whole process. So uh, thank you very much. Um, I want to thank you very much for honoring me this morning. And uh, I have to admit, I'm slightly rattled uh, to be up in front of you this morning, you know, amongst the 12 others that I'm truly honored to just be standing here with. Uh, I struggle with that a little bit. Uh, our program is extremely successful, and it wouldn't be successful without the continued support of Wakanda Fire District, especially Chief David Dato and Chief John Fessler. I thank you for allowing me to do what I do and uh, really never ask. They just, uh, it, it happens and they don't question what I do and I appreciate that, thank you very, very much. As well as uh, the Village of Wakanda, Mayor Mark Kennedy, Administrator Dan Quick, who also have been continually supportive of the program and uh, help me do what I do. And truly, last but not least, my beautiful wife, Pam, and my two boys who uh, suffer the blunt of my actions. Um, in a loving way, this morning she pointed out the fact that I haven't been home one night this week. So <clears throat> thank you for you know, this. Thank you for supporting me, and thank you very much.